Here we have a Ryzen CPU that came in for repair. This one is the 5950X and the customer wrote 5950X bent and missing pins needs repair. Let's go under the microscope. Whoa, right off the bat, we see two missing pins. And I see one crooked pin right here. It's going to be hard to make this pin straight. Maybe we can replace it as well. We can replace three pins. Now, those pins do not have to be 100% straight. There's an error margin. Let's continue with visual inspection. Any more broken pins? Any more bent pins? And it doesn't look like it. Rotate. Nice. If we lay the CPU flat down, I'm going to focus on the very tip of the pins. And we can tell based on the way light shines on those pins if we have a bent pin or not. Now, we're not focused on the base of the CPU, but we are focused on the very tip of the pins. So the bottom will look out of focus, but the top, the very top of the pin will be in focus. And the pins, they look good. CPU is clean. Very nice. So let's focus on the broken pins. Replace them. And we are done for the day. Last repair for today. We're going to have to remove the base. This one and this one. We will remove this pin even though we do not really have to do it. The pin is already straight. We're going to apply some flux. Apply flux right here. And we're not going to pre-apply any solder. We already have solder on the board. And we do not want to overdo it. Grab our donor CPU and we're going to grab pins from right here.
the pen is solid. Let's do pin number two, then we do pin number three. And this one is solid. Let's do one more. Let's grab this guy right here. And we're done. And let's check the alignment of the pins. Beautiful, beautiful. We may be able to touch up on this guy right here just a tiny bit. And maybe the last one, just bend it a bit to the left. And if we check, wow, wow. We did an awesome job. Look at this. Very nice. Like I said, we do not have to be 100% accurate. We're not machines, but there's an error margin. If that pin is bent to the left a little bit, to the right a little bit, it's okay. Three degrees, five degrees, I would say up to 10 degrees, it's okay. We did an awesome job, great. Great. Let's grab Kimtech wipe. Just a little bit of alcohol on the brush. We're gonna clean like this. And that's what I love about Kimtech wipes. Look at this. It removes any residue of flux. You can buy Kimtech wipes, the brush, whatever tools you need, flux, power supply, soldering station, hot air station, thermal camera, tweezers, Braidwick, everything can be bought directly off our site. We have all items in stock. Add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. I do not know what that black thing is on the side here, but we're not gonna overdo it. Looks like the guy was eating food when he installed his CPU. And we are done. Last repair for the day. We're gonna invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.